Hi students, I'm Abhishek from Vidyavaru and in today's session we are going to talk about simplification. So some very interesting questions I've brought for you on this particular topic and if you like the video please press the like button for sure, share the video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to our channel and while subscribing make sure that you press the bell icon also because that's how you're going to get the notifications of all our videos and this session is going to be in complete English medium. Why we shoot sessions in complete English medium? Because a lot of our students from South India, students from Telangana, students from Andhra Pradesh, students from uh, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, they face some difficulty in understanding Hindi and that's why we record complete English medium sessions so that our students from Northeast India can also understand these videos and everybody can make full use of whatever we are teaching. So let's get started. Let's look at the first question which is there on your screen. Students, it may seem a difficult question, but let's make it simple. You have 343, you have 49, and you have strange looking powers, 1.7, 4.8. So what we have to do over here, we have to find the value of X. It's a past exam question. So let's see. Think of 343 and think of 49. How we can write 343 in terms of 7? Let's see, students, 7 raised to power 8.9, we already have that, sure, divided by, divided by 343 is basically 7 cubes, students, 343 is what, 7 cube, so I am going to write it as 7 cube, and what is the power outside, the power outside is 1.7, the power outside is 1.7, similarly, students, 49 can be written as 7 square, so I'm going to write 49 as 7 square. Now you know that I'm converting everything in the power of 7. Sure. And what is the power over here? The power over here is 4.8. And this is equal to 7 raised to power x. Now what is going to happen? Students, these powers, these powers, look at these two terms. The powers over here are going to get multiplied. The powers over here are going to get multiplied. So the first term is 7 raised to power 8.9 divided by what? 17 threes are 51. So the power will turn out to be 5.1. The power turns out to be 5.1 and in the next term, in the next term 48 twos are 96. So students the power turns out to be 9.6. The power turns out to be 9.6 and this is equal to 7 raised to power x. Now listen to me very carefully. The bases are same. Students, when the bases are same, what happens and the terms are getting divided? The bases are same and the terms are getting divided. So what happens to the powers? The powers will get subtracted. The powers will get subtracted. So out here it will be 7 raised to power 8.9 minus 5.1. These powers are getting subtracted into 7 raised to power 9.6 is equal to 7 raised to power x. So basically 8.9 minus 5.1. 8.9 minus 5.1. What does it turn out to be? Students, it turns out to be 3.8. So 7 raised to power 3.8 into 7 raised to power 9.6 is equal to 7 raised to power x. Now what happens when the bases are same? and the terms are getting multiplied. Students, now the terms are getting multiplied. So what happens? The powers will get added. When will the powers get added? When the bases are same and the terms are getting multiplied. So now what will happen? 3.8 and 9.6 will get added to each other. It will be what? It will be 13.4. Yes, it will be 13.4. So 7 raised to power 13.4 is equal to 7 raised to power x. So very simply, x turns out to be what? Students, x turns out to be 13.4. x turns out to be 13.4. Can you see that? Sure. So now let's move on to the next question. Another very interesting question. Let's see. Look at the question now. Over here we have uh, 0.49, we have 0.343. Now we have uh, 0.2401. So students, let's see how we are going to solve this particular question. As you can see, this is also a past exam question. So now 
Think of uh, 2401. How can 2401 be written in the form of 7? Students, 7 cube is 343, but 7 raised to power 4. 7 raised to power 4 is what? 2401. So we are going to make use of these properties which we have understood a while ago. A while ago, we understood certain properties. And what were those properties? Regarding bases and exponents. So now 0 0.49. 0 0.49 is what? Students, it is 0 0.7 square. It is 0 0.7 square. It is raised to power 4. Now this is getting multiplied with 0 0.343. 0 0.343, it is what? It is 0 0.7 cube. Students, it is 0 0.7 cube. And the power outside is 4. The power outside is 4. Sure. Now the next term, 0 0.2401. How can I write it? I can write it as 0.7 raised to power 4. I can write it as 0 0.7 raised to power 4. And again, the power outside is 4. Now on the right hand side, students I have 70 divided by 100. So 70 divided by 100, that's also 0.7. So 0.7 raised to power x plus 3. We have to find out the value of x in this question as well. So now let's see. Let's first of all multiply these powers. In the first term, what will it turn out to be? It will turn out to be 0.7 raised to power 8. Students, in the second term, what will it turn out to be? 3 will get multiplied with 4. 3 will get multiplied with 4. It will turn out to be 0.7 raised to power 12. In the fourth term, it will be 4 fours are 16. So 0.7 raised to power 16. And this is what? This is 0.7 raised to power x plus 3. That is how it is going to be written. Now, of course, in board mass, students, in board mass, what is the first thing that we do? After opening the brackets, we look at division. So, out here, we will first of all focus on division. The bases are the same. Students, the bases are the same and the powers are getting what? The powers are getting, the bases are the same and these terms are getting divided. So the powers will be subtracted. Students, the powers will be subtracted. So 0 0.7 raised to power 8 into 12 minus 16, what it, will it be? Students, 12 minus 16, it will be minus 4. It will be minus 4 is equal to 0 0.7 raised to power x plus 3. Sure. Now what happens? The terms are getting multiplied. The bases are same. The terms are getting multiplied. So the powers will get added. Students, the powers will get added. But look at it carefully. One power is a positive power. The other is a negative power. So when you add them, when you add them, what happens? 8 and minus 4 get added. 8 and minus 4 get added. Make a note of that. Sure. So what will happen? 8 and minus 4, when they get added, we are left with 4 only. So 0 0.7 raised to power 4. And this is equal to what? This is equal to 0 0.7 raised to power x plus 3. So students, now you can see x plus 3 is equal to 4. x plus 3 is equal to 4. So the value of x will be what? The value of x will be equal to 1. Students, the value of x is equal to 1. So now, till now we have discussed some questions which uh, were somewhat similar. We have discussed two questions which were somewhat similar. Now let's take a different type. Now let's take a different type and let's see what this question is uh, telling us. This is an equal to sign. This is basically an equal to sign. So we have to find out the value of this question mark. What is this question mark going to be? So now you can see we have 81 raised to power 4. We have 243 cube. So we have 27. We have 3 square. What is common among all these terms? Students, all these terms can be expressed as some power of 3. All these terms can be expressed as some power of 3. So let's look at the first term, how we can express it. The first term, students, 27 can be written as 3 cube. So 3 cube raised to power 5. Similarly, what is 243? Students, 243 is 3 raised to power 5. It is 3 raised to power 5. Sure. And how can I write 
9, 9 can be written as 3 square. So, 3 square raised to power 7. 3 square raised to power 7. Now, think of 81. Students, how can I write 81? 81 is 3 raised to power 4. 81 is 3 raised to power 4. And the power outside is again 4. Sure. And what do I have? I have 3 square. I have 3 square raised to power 6. I will copy it as it is. Now, you can clearly see all the terms. All the terms have been written as a power of 3. So, let's uh, just simplify. Let's just simplify. Let's just multiply these powers. So, in the first term, it turns out to be 3 fives are 15. The power of 3 is 15. Similarly, even in the second term, 5 threes are 15. The power turns out to be 15. Look at the terms on the right hand side. 2 sevens are 14. So, the first term will have 14. The next term, the next term, 4 fours are 16. So, students, in the next term, we have 3 raised to power 16. And the last term, 2 six are 12. So, it turns out to be 3 raised to power 12. Sure. Now, you know that on the left hand side, the bases are the same and the terms are getting multiplied. The terms are getting multiplied. So, these two powers, 15 and 15, they will get added. Similarly, the powers on the right, 14, 16 and 12, they will also get added because the bases are getting multiplied. The terms are getting multiplied. Sure. So, question mark raised to power 6 into 15, 15, it turns out to be 30. And on the right hand side, what do you have? 14 and 16, 30. 30 and 12, it becomes 42. 3 raised to power 42. Sure. So, the question mark raised to power 6 stays as it is. This 3 raised to power 30 goes to the other side. It goes to the other side, gets divided. It gets divided. Now, the bases are the same. Students, the bases are the same. And what happens? The terms are getting divided. So, over here, over here, students, the terms are getting divided. So, it will be a subtraction operation. 32, th 42 minus 30, 42 minus 30. So, it turns out to be what? It turns out to be 3 raised to power 12. So, question mark raised to power 6 is equal to 3 raised to power 12. So, now what can I do? Students, I can write 12. I can write 12 as something like this. 12 can be written as 3 square raised to power 6. 12 can be written as 2 into 6. So now, now the powers are the same on both sides. The powers are same on both sides. So question mark will be equal to what? Question mark is equal to 3 square. That means question mark is equal to 9. That's our answer. So students, with that, I'm going to wind up today's session. And if you like the video, please press the like button for sure. And the numbers are given on the screen. So dial these numbers, speak with our executives and you can join our live batches because our live batches are there. Our live batches are there. You can be a part of our live batches and along with our live batches, you can also opt for our video lectures. The complete video pro program is also offered by Vidya Guru along with the live uh, coaching. And please remember, our batches are available in complete English medium so that even those students who are unable to understand Hindi can make full benefit of our video preparation. So with that, I'm signing off. Thank you so much.